Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we are talking solar panels. Let's get into it. All right, so we're finally outdoors. You can probably hear my dogs in the distance, but we are we finally have a decent day where the sun is coming out, and we are going to try to put some new solar panels to the test today and see what we find out. So there's a lot of solar panel manufacturers out there. You're familiar with a lot of them. Uh, obviously, uh, EcoFlow is a big one. Um, they produce several uh, different panel arrays from 100 watts, 160 watts, 400 watts, etc. Renogy, several others you know that are out there. But there's a lot that you might not know about. And one that I've found is right here with these two packages. And it's uh, C-Alpha or Calpha. <laughs> I don't know if it's pronounced Calpha or C-Alpha. I kind of like C-Alpha myself. But I've got four 100 watt panels here and I'm going to test them today, see what kind of output we get. Wow, these are beautiful. <laughs> I'm pull this up a little bit here so you can see it better. Look at that, that is gorgeous. See alpha, very nice. All right, so you can see that, I mean, that is just a mere black finish. This is beautiful. It's well packaged, um, you know, plenty of cardboard all around. And uh, yeah, that is just gorgeous. Got a nice, nice steel uh, black finish to the, to the sides, all plastic wrapped. Um, Got these caps on the corner. This is really, really nice. And then here's your cables. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, we'll just run through some of the specs here. Obviously, these are rated for 100 watts. Um, operating voltage, if you can make this out, 17.1 volts. Operating current, 5.85, so a little under 6 amps. Open circuit, that's uh, one you want to be careful about, 20.1 20, 20 volts. And short circuit, 6.15, yeah, so um, maximum fuse current, 10 amps. And mass, maximum system voltage, 600 VDC. Don't think you'll be touching that, but yeah, this is really, really nice. Just one quick thing I want to call out here right away. I love that these are very generously uh, <laughs> long uh mc4 connectors uh yes i have had other panels that are just ridiculously short these are very generous um obviously you'll be able to connect these to the other if you do them in series um, or to even do testing but that's just a small thing that i really appreciate we're going to try to get a quick multimeter reading um just you know the morning sun's here and uh, though it's not in a good optimal angle yet, it should be enough that we can get a little bit of a test. So we're going to uh, make sure we're doing this. Okay. All right. Um, hopefully this is showing. That is exactly what is supposed to be rated at open circuit, 20.17. That is like spot on. So that's awesome. Good start. Okay. I've got them all unpackaged here. They are all in flawless condition. These are just beautiful um, they're very well packaged when they shipped out I had four shipped obviously opened them all up no cracks no no scratches no blemishes on them uh, really really good condition uh, like I said just well packaged all around you've even got I've mentioned the plastic along the side you know this these are quality products there's no doubt about it um, and it measured the the open Voltage all exactly right on at 20.17. Very pleased. These are some of the nicest 100 watt panels I've seen. Uh, you can see I wasn't real pleased with the angle uh, before, so I, I jury rigged something up. Uh, don't judge me. This is not my best work, but it worked to quickly take advantage of the sun that we had. So just got these propped up. This is not uh, maybe like a. <laughs> 75 degree angle right now but the sun is directly behind the camera and it's hitting pretty much straight on so so decent light and um let's see what uh, kind of 
uh, production we get. Get it to focus. Yeah, really good production, honestly. 320 watts um, from a 400 watt array, uh, which I've got all four in series right now. That's really good. Um, again, the angle may not be perfect. Um, and of course it is late December, so we're not getting like a ton of sun, but really, really good. Um, you know, <laughs> we're gonna, uh, I'm impressed with that. Here's just a, a slightly different angle of the panels, a little closer up. Again, don't judge my uh, <laughs> temporary uh, mounting solution. It, it, it is what it is. But um, these panels are really, really nice. Um, I just, yeah, I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, come, want to take these end caps off, but uh, really, really looks good. And they, well, what do I think? I think I'm impressed. Um, the output, of course, is the most important thing. I wouldn't consider this to be the best test, but it's a decent test. And to get 320 out of four panels, uh, four 100 watt panels, really good. I like that. Um, I think it could probably touch on that 400 watt capacity in better conditions. Uh, certainly if I got the angle right and wasn't doing a, a temporary <laughs> barricade kind of style uh, uh, mount, but I think it went really well. What I'm most impressed with was the packing and the quality of the panels. They're, they're really good, um, arrived in great condition. So those are all positive things that I care about a lot and probably you care about if you're thinking about ordering one. So um, those are things that I'll, I'll probably recap in the end, but really impressed with that. We're gonna, getting that, that nice protective plastic around the black aluminum. Just really beautiful stuff. Okay, let me show you these right here. On the again on the negative side, they've got these little extenders that all you have to do. Hopefully, I can show this. You just squeeze, and it pops right out. That is so nice. I have spent a lot of time with MC4 connectors. Most of them don't have this, and so you need a special tool. And it is a real pain in the butt to get them disconnected sometimes, even with the tool. So to have this included on the panels themselves is wonderful you just again you grab that you just squeeze and they pop right out so nice that is a very clever touch that i'm very impressed with okay well what are my thoughts my thoughts are these panels are awesome they might be the best panels you can find on the market today the best 100 watt panels uh there are, i had literally no complaints the construction is top notch the packaging um, which is very important because obviously getting them shipped to you was very good um, none of the panels were damaged in the shipping process to me which means uh, and, and looking at how they were packaged i feel very confident that you will be safe too if you have them ordered to your home or location right <clears throat> uh, I, I love a lot of the touches on the panels themselves uh, I, <laughs> I geeked out a little bit and i showed you the, the MC4 connectors, the, the, the cables coming off the panels, one, they give you a nice generous cable, which is great, um, you know, compared to, I have some Canadian solar panels that I use on my roof, and they do not give you hardly anything at all. So these are much more generous. The MC4 connectors themselves have the quick disconnect, which is so nice, very, uh, very nice touch. And it tells me that C-alpha or Calpha, <laughs> however you pronounce it, they know what they're talking about when it comes to solar. It tells me that they've done this. They understand what's important to, to people like me and to you. Um, and so they're designing with that in mind. That is very reassuring to me. <clears throat> the output, again, I don't know that today uh, was the best example, but I still got, even in, I think, not great conditions, I still got 320 watts coming from four panels. That's really good. Uh, really good, and I, I think on uh, on a, on in better conditions I could get very close to that 400 watts. Um, so I, I I guess I'm gushing about this a little bit because there's nothing that I can think of to nitpick on them. They're exactly what you want, um, what I want. The nice thing about a 100 watt panel like these is that they're very flexible. So if I was using them to set up an array for one of my Delta Pros. How I would probably do it is I think I would have uh, six of them in series. Uh, that would put me 
at approximately 110 to 120 volts. So safe, well below the 150 voltage cutoff on the Delta Pro. And then I would probably have two strings of them. So uh, total of 12 panels, uh, six in series, and you know the two, two in parallel, which will give me 1200 watts. And with these, they're very, I think very efficient. I'm gonna get very close to that 1200 watts in good, in good uh, lighting. Um, which would be great. You could, you could, if you really wanted to go nuts, you could go three in series, uh, three parallel strings, or you could possibly even do seven. That that pushes it a little closer to the limit than I like, but everyone has their own uh, comfort factor, I guess, on that. Um, but that would get you very close to the maximum of the Delta Pro at 1600 watts. The other thing I like about a hundred watt panel is there are um, they give you so much flexibility in terms of they're very easy for one person to move, to adjust. Um, now these are rigid panels, so you absolutely can install them in place on your roof or on your RV um, or wherever. Um, and, and probably that's what I'll do. But uh, for others, I mean, if you, if you want to kind of use it as a, as a semi portable um, array, maybe build a little uh, movable, wheelable mount, um, that's these would work for that too right like so it gives you some options it's not just a portable display uh, or a flexible panel um, and it's not just a rigid display it can be either and, and they're small enough and light enough that you can move them around i love that um, having had to move a gigantic 545 watt panel onto my roof i know i value and appreciate something that's easy to move around and these are definitely that so another win on, on these panels. I think that's gonna wrap up this review. I realize it was an extremely positive review, but honestly, it's because there's a lot to be extremely positive about. I, in my opinion, these are the best 100 watt panels on the market that you can get, hands down. Quality, touch, design, everything about them, I have positive things to say, and I wholeheartedly recommend them. If you're looking for 100 watt panels, these should be on your list. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I certainly enjoyed making it and I will see you in the next one.